You guys see fresh and easy, man? Yeah, man. Life isn't always so fresh or so easy. But what's inside of there? A lot of groceries and stuff you buy, right? You got the milk, you got the, uh, you know, your fruits and vegetables and stuff. And all that stuff, man, um, very perishable. What does that mean? I mean, when you buy it, you better eat that motherfucker, otherwise it goes bad. There's a shelf life to it, a time trial. Use it or lose it. And if you don't use it, then your investment in that product, you don't quite reap all the reward of that. It's like a little metaphor, I think, in life. Because life itself is perishable. If you're playing basketball and you're shooting free throws, and you have to line when the pressure's on you, if you don't constantly, when no one's watching, drill it and drill it a thousand buckets a day, when it matters, maybe you miss. If you're in the military, you're Delta Force or something. If you're not in the range, firing thousands, thousands of rounds, well then when you pull in a fire, maybe you're not putting one in the head, one in the chest. Maybe you're missing it. And maybe in that split second, it costs you your life. All these things eventually will be tested. You have the time right now to repair them, to ensure the skills don't get spoiled like some fruit and fresh and easy. See, the thing about life, we're gonna die, right? Eventually we're gonna die, but our legacy can live on. The impact can be non-perishable forever, but it's gotta be built right. And we gotta take advantage of the time we have right now. If you want it bad enough, you find a way. If you don't want it bad enough, you find an excuse. It's called the body weight beatdown. You don't need any weights for it. You don't need, you don't need a gym membership. You don't need any, any barbells. You don't need any equipment. All you need is this motherfucker. That's your weight, your body weight. Last I looked, the person that finishes the race with their hand held, isn't it about the, uh, you know, how big they are, how tough they are, their potential, it's their perseverance. Meaning it's not about the dog that's in the fight. It's the fight within the dog. Well, yeah, it's a shitty situation. I gotta go to work, because I gotta pay the bills and support my family. But you know, it doesn't mean I have to shortcut my success and what I'm doing. I'll find a way to work this out. How do you do that? You gotta have a little ingenuity. I'll provide that for you guys. All you have to do is follow it. This workout's gonna test you guys. It's gonna break you too. But in doing so, it's gonna grow you. Just like life itself, man. You go after things, you try them. Even if you fail, you get back up and you continue to try and fail, continue to try and fail. And ensuring you never fail to try. Because nothing's impossible. Just the spelling of impossible is spelled I'm possible. Today we make belief of that. That's just not normal, guys. And what's not normal is what your body doesn't know. When your body doesn't know what it is, it's forced to adapt. That adaptation leads to growth. Only weak motherfuckers in life go after things and attempt things they already know they can achieve. You've got to do something you're not quite sure of. Try something new if you want to switch it up. That's where growth comes, man. That's where your body's forced to adapt, forced to suffer the discipline today so you never suffer the form of regret tomorrow. That's what the fuck that's about. It's not the load, guys, that you're carrying that breaks you. It's the way in which you carry it. Meaning, we all fail in life. We all hit failure. It's the way in which you handle, handle failure that you find out destroys or not. Because last I looked, failure is temporary. Giving up, that's permanent. When you think that way, guys, in here, it's not work, man. It's love. When you love something, you put your passion behind it and pay your dues every day. You set trends, man. You don't follow them. You set the fucking trends. See ya.